Happening tomorrow, an honest discussion will be held about the issues black women face in getting health care. So according to the Office of Minority Health, black women experience higher rates of many preventable diseases and chronic health conditions and are three times more likely to die from complications due to pregnancy. To help close that gap, the second state of Black Women Health Forum is being held tomorrow at HISD's Young Women's College Preparatory Academy. And joining us this morning to discuss why this is so important is American author and journalist Rashonda Tate. Rashonda, thanks for taking the time with us this morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good to have you. Can you tell us more about the forum that's held tomorrow? Right. Well, the Defender Network has done a number of stories on some of the disturbing statistics that you mentioned, and the numbers don't lie. Um, black women just are disproportionately burdened by chronic conditions, such as anemia, cardiovascular disease, obesity. And black women, especially younger women, are more likely to have aggressive breast cancers or get them at an earlier age and die more often from the disease. So that's why we decided to host this forum to address some of those issues. It brings black girls and black women together with women medical professionals to help provide a roadmap for their lifelong health journey. Yeah, yeah awareness is one thing, but actually doing something about it, right, is, is totally different and, and moving forward. So, Rashonda, you've written about the pandemic. You've, you've talked about mental health, vaccine misinformation. Can you tell us a little more about specifically how the pandemic played a ro role in really showing these disparities in health care? Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, the pandemic has highlighted the in inequities that have already existed, and it's just exposed new disparities between age, race, and political uh, affiliations. You know, we show that it shows that African American uh, 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 with CDC data are 1.5 times more likely um, to die from COVID. And a lot of that is due to vaccine hesitancy among certain committees, uh, communities that have been historically wronged by medicine before. So what we're trying to do is empower and and educate black women with health information to improve the quality of their lives. The way we close those gaps is by educating them. That was my next question. I know it's a, a multi-tiered answer, but what is the beginning steps to closing that gap for black women? Yeah, education and access. It's important that we be vocal about the benefits of the COVID-19 vaccine to diverse communities, um, just beyond the healthcare professionals. And so what we want to do, we have a program earlier in the morning for young black girls, uh, young girls of color, because we're trying to open the doors for them and, and educate them. And then the program in the evening is doing the same thing. It's just letting them know the clinical trials that are available, dispelling some of those myths that create the gap. Yeah. Rashonda, how, if at all, has life changed in terms of maybe how black women interact with each other about their own health or maybe how a black mother talks to her daughter about health? How has that kind of changed over the years? Yeah, one of the things that, that we have seen advancements in is in terms of just education within our community, but it also spreads, the misinformation spreads through that. So what we're trying to do is bring forward professionals, medical professionals that can help arm mothers with the tools to educate their children, that can arm other people in the community, to, whether it's their church, whether it's their community organizations. We want to pass along correct education educational information. We know this is happening here at the local level with tomorrow's open discussion, the forum. Is there something at the federal level that's been done and, and as far as uh, getting information out there to black communities about this? Yes, the CDC is really trying to boost the efforts of, of getting the talks out. But one of the things we're finding is that it happens, it, it's more effective on the local level and then branching out. Um, there seems to be some disconnect of when you have local people listening on the federal level. So we're trying to bring in people that they may know, that they see locally, they may see at churches. We have medical professionals from Texas Children's Hospital, um, MD Anderson, and just local medical professionals who will be there educating because we find that's more effective than going for, uh, coming from the trickle down from the federal government. So that's great. You've got, I guess, in that sense, local experts as part of this forum. Uh, what kind of other guests do, do you want to join? I mean, in, in terms of maybe the, the women that you would like there, is there a certain age range or what, what are we looking for? 
Yeah, that's the reason that we're starting this. Um, we're doing a program during for the youth during the day because we want to start educating as young as possible. Uh, this is the second um, State of the Black Women Health Forum. And it, while it is focused on black women's health, one of the things we're trying to do is show that, you know, educating all women and have these women come out that can help provide knowledge to other people. So we have um, some amazing sponsors that have joined on board because they recognize the mission. HEB is helping us, J.P. Morgan Chase, and it's a Hill Day Public Relations. And we also have mental health and emotional well-being for young people of color. So we're focusing on physical, mental, and sexual health, all of those which are important in making the totality of a successful, highly educated um, woman. So necessary. So necessary. Where can uh, folks watching right now find out more information on this? At DefenderNetwork.com, that is um, where we are housing everything and, and they can get information. This event is free and open to the public because that's just how crucial spreading this knowledge is. Rashonda Tate, author and journalist and just incredible woman who is spreading mm -hmm. some knowledge much needed across uh, communities in Houston. Mm -hmm. here. Lo love your energy, your information, yes. your insight, all of it, Rashonda. Really appreciate it. Thank you. And again, the second state of Black Women Health Forum will be held tomorrow at HISD's Young Women's College Preparatory Academy. That's at uh, 1906 Claiborne Street. That starts at 530 in the evening. And again, that event is free.